So now let's have a quick demo of the MongoDB. Um, so to be more specific, so we are going to have a quick demo of the MongoDB Atlas. So Atlas is a cloud version of the MongoDB. So we are, we are hosting all the uh, MongoDB data in the cloud. So you don't need to maintain the inf infrastructure locally. That is much like the uh, AWS RDS. Uh, so first, let's say we Google MongoDB and we get the first result that is mongodb.com. So let's click that one. And now let's say we sign in. So that will allow us to sign in to MongoDB Atlas. Uh, so we already, you have already in, received invitation. So hopefully you already accepted that one. So once you accept it, um, you should set up your password. And let's log in. Okay, uh, so now I just logged in and you can see it is uh, the MongoDB Atlas. Uh, we are now belonging to GMU organization and within that GMU organization, so we are in this I340 project. So you can belong to multiple organizations. Within each organization, you can belong to multiple projects. So right now, um, I'm not sure whether or not you have used MongoDB or not. So if this is your first time, you should only belong to GME organization that also belong to the and also and there's a uh, I340 um, project. OK, uh, so here uh, you can see the right now we are looking at the Atlas. Um, Atlas is a cloud uh, uh, MongoDB uh, database. And uh, um, we can also, uh, MongoDB also provides service like Realm. So that is a, a new service recently so that you can create your uh, web applications and that using the MongoDB database. And the charts. So charts is a cloud visualization service. So that can create different visualizations uh, from your MongoDB dataset. So this is much similar uh, to QuickSight. So if you recall that on, on AWS, so we do have QuickSight. So that is a BI tool that can be connected to multiple data resources on AWS. And Charts is an equivalent product. So that is also a cloud-based BI tool that can be used to visualize and also to explore um, the data that from MongoDB uh, database. Another feature that I really want to highlight on uh, Atlas is the chat function. So the chat function is that sometimes if you have uh, technical issues or problems, you can always chat with their technicians, online technicians, and you will receive and reply uh, pretty fast. So that is something that's pretty nice. OK, so now let's back to the Atlas. So Atlas is a cloud uh, database service on MongoDB. And where you can see here, we have one cluster. So remember that um, the cluster is a group of the MongoD. OK. And within this cluster, um, we actually have three um, nodes. So let's say we look at the collections. OK, so that is in this cluster that uh, you can see how many database we have. So here we have multiple databases. Um, so for each single uh, account, uh, I created a dedicated database for you. So you can see, for example, for the demo. So now I have a one database, which is demo. And within that demo database, I have a collection. So that is called the demo collection. OK, and you can for on here, you can see that, OK, so you can filter data. You can create indexes. Uh, you can also query the data through the aggregations. OK, so we will talk about queries later. Uh, right now, I uh, didn't give you the access to write data. So you cannot insert documents through Atlas. However, so let's look at some sample data. So for example, let's look at the sample Airbnb. 
So Airbnb is a database name, it, which has one collection. So let's click a listing and views reviews. So now you can see in this collection, uh, we have multiple documents. So you can see here the size is this one. So 90 megabyte. It has more than 5,000 uh, documents. Okay. Uh, so this is the one document. So if you expand, you can see it has ID. It has a listing URL, name, etc. Uh, it has numbers. So th those are the numbers in the string format. And those are the numbers in the integer format. And we also support, MongoDB also support date format. So for example, the, uh, this is the date format, date set. We also have the strings. And we can also have the list. So the value of the uh, this key uh, is also a list that contains a set of different strings. Uh, we also have the image object, so which actually is just a, um, a nested document that has the URL of the image. We also have the other nested uh, documents. Okay. And here, let's reviews. Okay, so review is a list, is a list of the documents. So for, for example, the first review, we have the ID of the review, the data that review being created, and also content of the review. And we can see that for the first record, for the first documents, uh, for the first list, it receives multiple reviews. So uh, so the relationship between the reviews and also the the document itself is one to many relationship. OK, and uh, let's see another example. So that is sample geospatial, which also has a one single document. Uh, so you can see here um, uh, for this one, we do have a, a coordinates which has X and Y. So normally those are latitude and also longitude. And let's see another example. So let's look at the sample training. So for this one, uh, we do have multiple documents. OK, so for this database, we do have multiple documents. So uh, this is a document that is companies in this sample training uh, collection, a uh, database, sorry. OK, so for example, this database uh, does have multiple uh, collections. So remember, collections are something that's similar to the, to the tables. And so here we can see we have 41 database. And within those 41 database, we have 45 uh, documents. OK, uh, so let's look at some metrics. OK, uh, so here you can see now you can see that we in this cluster, uh, we do have three nodes. So the primary node is this one. and those are the two secondary nodes. So remember that secondary nodes are the nodes that replicate replica data from the primary nodes. And normally, the primary node will handle read and write. The secondary node, depending on the settings, can handle read, but we will not allow secondary, secondary node to handle write. OK, and we can also see the real time perform performance. So if you click real time, uh, you can see that the usage of CPUs and also read write uh, operations that in the in the near real time. OK, uh, so basically, uh, I would say it's pretty stable right now. So there's there are not a lot of real times, a uh, real time reading and also writings. Um, if we look at overview, so now we can see we have an overview of the uh, three nodes. So we can see that disk usage. So in total, we in this cluster we have ten gigabyte. Okay, so we have used uh, two gigabyte storage, and again we have those three uh, clusters. And if you click each single cluster, you can check more details. Okay, um, go to the backup. So you can see now we're uh, creating those backups on an hourly basis, OK? And actually, they save the backups into AWS. Um, if I'm right, they save that to AWS S3 buckets, OK? 
So, so for example, if you have something that uh, goes wrong and you can restore the, uh, the backups, or you can download the backups. Uh, let's go back to the cluster again. Um, so because I gave you very limited access to your account and I don't want you to mess up the, the cluster. So again, this cluster is not free. Um, so you have very limited access to all the others. And also for security reasons, I'm not going to show you the others. Just want to point out that you do can create database, database accesses. Uh, you can also customize your network access. And MongoDB also recently launched the support for data lake, okay, which I believe is for the S3, AWS, AWS S3. Uh, another feature that is very um, important on Atlas is called Connect. Okay, uh, so if I want to see if I want to connect to this cluster with a different uh, tool or different uh, application, or different computers. So uh, I, I don't want to use Atlas. So what are the other options that I, I can make connection to the cluster? So now if I cl click the connect option, you can see that there are several options. So you can connect with a Mongo shell. OK, so Mongo shell is a, um, is a comment line uh, interface that where you can run some MongoDB uh, comments. Um, you can also connect with your applications. So here, um, for example, you can connect with Python, or you can use connect with the other type of languages. So we are going to use that one later, um, probably next week. So we are connect to Python, and we are going to insert data into Python. Uh, you can also connect with your MongoDB campus. So campus is a GUI for MongoDB. So if you click this one, so that uh, you will get the necessary information that allow you to connect to campus. So campus is something that's similar to PG admin. Uh, you can also connect to other BI tools, so business intelligence tools, for example, Tableau, etc. Uh, however, that does require that you in, you enable this function, so uh, that is will be more expensive. So in the next semester, in the date. Uh, visualization semester, so we will use a cluster that I will enable this one. So for now, we are not going to do that. Okay, so you can all, so just let you know that we can also connect MongoDB with different BI tools like Tableau. Uh, 